Back everyone at 618 non believers of paranormal activity might want to take a tour in Belton. Uh, might learn about some things that go bump in the night. Ah, uh, the ghost wagon tour has found some interesting supernatural results around town. Our own Ghostbuster Jamie Kennedy is live in the investigation. Jamie, have you seen anything yet? I thought that was a ghost coming up on me. Actually, it's just Rick, the tour, tour guide for the ghost wagon tours here in Belton. And Rick, tell us, what are we doing here? What, what could we be seeing? Is there actually ghosts here? We believe there are, and we've had so much, um, we've had so many tours where strange things happen. Defiant. So it's not just that we come out and we hope that we see a ghost. As you can hear in the background, the ghost wagon is speaking words as, we, as we're having this interview. So we, we come across some strange anomalies pretty much every time we do a ghost tour, and that's, that's most weekends when the weather is permitted. And so if people want to come down and find out about the ghost, what will be happening on the tour? It's a 90 minute walking tour that covers about a mile and it covers specific areas in downtown Belton where things we know have happened over the years, over the past hundred years or so. Uh, we stop at several places and spend some time talking about the history of Belton, let the computers pick up whatever they're going to pick up in the atmosphere. And then at one specific spot, we do some dowsing with the dowsing rods where we let the participants go out and do their own ghost hunt for a period of time, which is very interesting. <laughs> and tell us a little bit, what are we looking at here in the background? This is the first Christian church that was originally the Grand Opera House of Belton. And the Grand Opera House has two stories, which is very special because you could fly down things in the theater when theater productions were going on, which was unusual in those days. During World War II, there's a little place that way called Fort Hood, but it was called Camp Hood in World War II. This building was commandeered and turned into a USO club for the duration of World War II. So many soldiers would come over and they would dance with the girls from the Baylor right. Girls College. And this may have been the last time that they ever danced or did anything like that before they shipped out to go to Germany to fight the Germans in the Panzer tank units. Uh -huh. Right, and so I'll just give you the mic here, and if you want to let us know about what these are. These are dowsing rods. They're copper custom-made rods that Jeez. tend to, there you go, they tend to indicate spirit activity when it's present. Some people have, um, I call them ghost magnets. Some people are, and yeah. the, the rods just go crazy in their hands. Some of them, they sit very still, pretty much like they're doing with you. <laughs> and if there was a ghost, what would it be doing? Tend to move, they would tend to cross this way. Sometimes they go apart, sometimes they both go to one side, but they do different things depending on Jeez. who's trying to come through and what they're trying to say. Awesome, okay, so as we can see, I am definitely not a spirit magnet myself. <laughs> um, come out here and you never know what you might find. Something from this world or the next, you'll just have to come and see. Ghost Wagon Tours with Rick and Belton. Back to you, Chris and Lisa. Okay, awesome, Jamie. Mm. Kind of a fun thing to do this morning, and uh, we love your impression of the ring, by the way. Yeah, that was good. Your singing was lovely. The eyeball on the <laughs> camera there. That was pretty good. He's, he's tricky. He's a tricky one. That was good. That was good. <laughs> although Rick, although maybe he's 